Hi, I'm Jessica Perlo, a director at IGI and co-author on IGI's white paper, IGI Framework for Improving Joy and Work. As IGI engaged with partners in thinking about how to restore, foster, and nurture joy in the healthcare workforce, it became evident that leaders often find it challenging to see a way to move from our current state to joy and work. It's not as simple as flipping a switch. So today, I'm going to share four steps leaders can take to find a path forward. We chose to use a staircase to represent the components of this model to illustrate that each step serves as the foundation for the steps that follow. First, at the bottom, leaders engage colleagues to identify what matters to them in their work. This step is about asking the right questions and really listening to the answers. It's about doing something with and not for each other. Um, and it helps us to identify what contributes to or detracts from joy and work for staff. Next, leaders identify the processes, issues, or circumstances that are impediments to what matters, the pebbles in the shoes that get in the way of meeting professional, social, and psychological needs. Step one and two usually happen in the same conversation and continue over time. Having conversations about what really matters to each person builds the trust needed to identify frustrations they experience during the workday. It may sound obvious, but one truth that stood out to us in this research, everyone must feel like their ideas, opinions, and comments will be listened to before they can be open and honest. Then, step three. In partnership, multidisciplinary teams, when possible, come together and need to share responsibility for removing these impediments and for improving and sustaining joy. Making a workplace joyful is the job of leaders, but everyone from senior executive leaders to clinical and administrative staff has a role to play. From creating effective systems to building teams to bolstering one's own resilience and supporting a positive culture, each person contributes. Lastly, we encourage leaders and staff to use improvement science together to accelerate improvement and create a more joyful and productive place to work. Why is this last step so important? Using principles of improvement science, organizations can determine if the changes they test are leading to improvement, if they're effective in different programs, departments, clinics, and, and if they're sustainable. These four steps do not ignore the larger organizational issues that exist, things like the impact of the EHR functionality on clinicians' daily work or work loan and, and staffing issues. Instead, the steps empower local teams to identify and address impediments that they can change. This process converts the conversation from, if only they would, to, what can we do today? It helps everyone see the organization as an us, not a them. I invite you to learn more about IHI's framework for joy and work and the critical role that leaders can play by downloading the free white paper on IHI.org.